In this video today, we're going to take a look at a couple of trig formulas. Uh, we're going to um, look at the sum to product formulas, as well as the product to sum formulas. Um, these are the first set that I want to talk about. They are the sum to product formulas. Eventually, you would probably need to memorize these, um, and the more you do problems with them, the easier it is going to be to memorize. But basically, you have a sum with your cosine and sine values, all right, and you are turning this into a product. That's why they're called sum to product formulas. Okay, and in the examples that I'm going to do in this video, very brief, nice introduction of just plug into the formula, simplify, look and see what you get from there. Um, so what I would probably do at this point is pause the video and copy these four down, all right, and then um, we're going to take a look at the product to sum formulas. All right, there are another four of these. All right, and again, product to sum means I have a product to start with. And again, I've got a combination of sine and cosines. All right, and I'm turning it into a sum. And these are the formulas that we're going to use. All right, so like I said, pause the video here on these, write these down. You'll have them for reference. As I work through the three example problems that I'm going to do, I will write the formula down for each individual problem though. All right, so for the first two examples, I'm going to work on the sum to product formulas. All right, um, and I can look at this. I have a sum, so that means I need the sum to product formulas. Over here, I've got a difference, all right, but some difference, same thing. I'm going to go to a product. All right, so from that formula sheet that was I had up just a minute ago, I am summing two signs, okay? So I'm going to rewrite the formula just so we have it for reference. All right, sine alpha plus sine beta. That's what I've got right there. All right, that's going to be equal to 2 sine alpha plus beta all over 2, and then cosine alpha minus beta all over 2. Okay, so I've got two signs right here, and then this is what it's going to expand to. All right, now written just like this, that 9x is going to be my alpha value, and this 5x is going to be my beta value. All right, so I'm going to follow the formula, and I'm literally going to do a direct substitution and simplify as far as I can. So I'm going to be working with this right-hand side of the formula. All right, so let's go to black so we're showing that we're actually working it out now. All right, so my alpha is 9x, my beta is 5x. I'm going to have 2 times the sine of whatever I get when I add them divided by 2 times the cosine of whatever I get when I subtract them and divide by 2. So 2 sine alpha is 9x plus beta is 5x divided by 2. Cosine, my alpha is 9x minus my beta which is 5x divided by 2. All right, now, like terms, I can add these, I can subtract these over here, so I can do a little bit of simplifying to sine. If I add those two, I'm going to have a 14x divided by 2. Cosine, if I subtract those two, I'll have 4x over 2. All right, we can go a little bit farther. I can simplify inside a little bit farther. 2 sine of 7x cosine 2x. All right, I don't know the value of x. All right, this is just a basic direct substitution, turning that sum into a product. All right, probably one of the very, very first things that you would do when introduced to these formulas. Okay, so for my second example right here, again, I've got a difference here, so I'm going to be using those sum to product formulas. All right, I've got two cosines. If you remember from that beginning chart that I gave you, cosine of alpha minus cosine of beta is going to be equal to a negative 2 sine, and then I'm going to add up my alpha and beta, divide by 2, and then cosine, I will subtract my alpha and beta, and divide by 2. All right, so there's the entire formula written out. All right, so coming up here and looking, whatever your first value is right there, that's your alpha. Whatever your second value is right there, that's beta. 
Okay, so now as I begin to work this out, I'm only going to focus on the right hand side of the formula. I'm going to do a direct substitution, simplifying wherever I can. Alright, so this entire expression will be equal to a negative 2 sine. Okay, now I'm going to add my alpha and beta. So 75 degrees plus 15 degrees all over 2. Cosine my alpha, 75 degrees minus 15 degrees all over 2. Alright, and here I've got all numbers, so I can do a quite a bit of simplifying. Negative 2 sine, when I add there, I'll have 90 degrees on top, divided by 2. Cosine, when I subtract there, I'm going to have 60 degrees on top, divided by 2. Again, I can continue. Negative 2 sine, 45 degrees, cosine, 30 degrees. Now, depending on what the directions say, you might only have to go that far and stop. All right, however, if they want an exact value for that product, both those values are on your unit circle, so you can use your unit circle and get those values off. So let's go one more for an exact answer here. Negative 2 sine of 45 degrees is going to be square root of 2 over 2. It's positive. It's in the first quadrant. Cosine of 30 degrees in the first quadrant is going to be positive. It'll be a 1 half. Okay, those values should be coming directly off your unit circle. All right, doing a little bit of simplifying, I can cross out a 2 and a 2. So an overall exact answer, negative square root of 2 over 2. So just depending on what your textbook would happen to be telling you to do or finding, if they want an exact answer, you can go all the way down to there. All right, but two very, very simple examples of a direct substitution, just what they give you, plug it in, simplify it as much as you can, you've turned it into a product. Okay, now I would like to do one more example. Going the other direction, this one is a product, and I'm going to turn this one into a sum. Alright, so for starters, let's uh, write the formula down that you would have gotten from the very first beginning part of the video. Okay, so if I've got a sine, alpha, cosine, beta, the formula for that is a one-half times the quantity sine alpha plus beta plus sine alpha minus beta. Okay. All right. Now, again, in this order, this first value right here is going to be my alpha. The second value right there is going to be my beta value. All right. Again, I am just going to do a direct substitution here. So I'm going to start with the right-hand side of this equation. I'm going to keep my one-half right there. I will have a sine. I'm going to plug in my 8x. I'm going to plug in the 3x for beta. Plus sine. Plug in alpha at 8x. Minus beta, 3x. Okay, anytime you can do simplifying inside, you need to do that. 1 half times the quantity sine of 11x plus sine of 5x. Alright, and because we don't know the value of x, that's going to be as far as that we can go on that. Alright, but just a straightforward implementation of that formula. Taking the product, turning it into a sum. Alright, um, thanks for watching, and if you found the formulas and video helpful, be sure and give me a thumbs up, and give me a positive comment. Thanks.